WooCommerce out of the box sucks. And this is what your store could look like with Shop Builder. Notice what it says here. Create iGasmic WooCommerce pages. Wow! And that's just the pages because here is where it gets really interesting. Shop Builder doesn't just let you redesign your whole store, it also supercharges it with 20 plus conversion boosting add-ons that will turn your WooCommerce website into a real conversion machine. But here's the best part, you can do all of this from inside Elementor, one of the easiest page builder on the market. And Shop Builder also comes with 100 dedicated Elementor widgets. Okay, so now let's dive in. Very good and welcome to shopbuilderwp.com, the ultimate WooCommerce solution for customizing all your WooCommerce internal pages. But that's not it. You have access to all these different templates as well. All these different modules is packed with features, loads of Elementor widgets, themes, and all of this for just a small yearly subscription of 48 US dollars per site. And for that price, you get all these options here, including seven WooCommerce themes that would normally cost you at least 59 US dollars, and also the Flutter mobile app that normally costs 49 US dollars. And included in that price, you get a full one year support and updates as well. But don't worry guys, you can start for free. As you can see, Shop Builder is also available on the WordPress repo. So there's a free version. And to see the difference between the free and the paid version, you can scroll down the page. And these are all the features available with the free version. And these are the ones available with the pro version. Very good, so welcome to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, I have both versions installed. So the free and the pro version for all of these features. So as you can see, Shop Builder and Shop Builder Pro variation images and then the pro version and also variation swatches and the pro version as well and i also have one of their themes installed which is sb elegance which comes with its own core plugin and it looks absolutely fantastic look at this guys and i'm going to show you how you can customize every aspect of it using these internal features i mean look at this already how visually appealing this is it makes it super easy for your visitors to know exactly which color is available in what size and the price as well I mean, look at this. This is going to increase your conversion by at least 20%. Very good. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and let's get started. So let me show you how this works. So if you go to your shop builder section here, you have the templates builder. So this is where we start from. Okay, so I'll click on this and now we can add new pages. So basically this is going to recreate a brand new WooCommerce page and this could be any internal pages linked to WooCommerce. So let's do that together. And right here you have the template name. So let's skip this for a second and let's focus on the type of template you can create. As you can see, you can select among all these different options. So you can redesign your shop page, your category page, your product page, your card check out thank you page all the my account tabs as you can see all of them are customizable including your login lost password or quick view so let's create a shop page together here okay so we give it a name so let's say mr web shop page and then you can select your editor style so at the moment it's only available for elementor but they're really working hard to get it available soon with gutenberg as well so let's go ahead with Elementor and we're going to set it as active as well. So that means it's going to replace any internal pages that are actually in place and scroll down the page. And now you can select among all these pre-built templates. So that obviously is going to save you a ton of time. So at the moment, let me show you in the front end what it looks like. So let's go back here, go to the shop page. And this is what our shop page looks like at the moment. But obviously, like we said, you can select among 20 different templates and you can customize everything yourself as well, top to bottom afterwards. So let's go ahead with this. So let's select one of them, okay? So let's scroll down the page, and let's say you want to add a search feature as well by the side like this one, or perhaps like this one. That looks very nice, doesn't it? All you have to do is to click Import, and then Edit with Elementor, 
Excellent. So right here by the side, as you can see, with all these radius theme elements, uh, like we said, about a hundred of them, I think, you know, and they'll be displayed right on top. So super handy for you to insert them on your page right here. And now let me demonstrate a few of these in a different tab. So I have a different page open here. As you can see, this is a blank page. So if you scroll down your elements here, you will find a section called Shop Builder Shop. And then you have the Shop Builder General. So you can use any of those items and insert them on your page to design the exact landing page that you want. So for instance, if you wanted to insert some products, say like the product custom layout, drag and drop. And there you go, as you can see, all your products will display on your page. Now you can do the same with other elements, obviously. So let me delete this for now. And let's see what else we can add. So I'll scroll down the page. And here we have the archive title. So this is the type of page you're on. So if you drag and drop it here, as you can see, this is the shop page. So let's discover a few more. So we have the Ajax product filter. So this is here by the side. We're going to cover that in a second. Product ordering, result count. So we have that already on, on top, obviously, you know. So if you scroll down, you have a few more options. So this is the shop builder general elements. So as you can see, a few of them are quite interesting. So if the product categories, do you want to insert the product categories on your page? Click on this. There you go. All your categories will display properly. And you can do the same with the others. So let's discover a few others. So perhaps you want to display a product as a grid layout or list layout or even as a slider. So let's try the slider together. So drag and drop. Very good. And uh, as you can see, if you use those buttons, you can slide right to left or left to right and discover all these different products. So let's have a look to another few. So let's scroll down the page again. So what do we have? So what else do we have? We have maybe the call to action here. Okay, so let's try this one. So drag and drop again right on top. And there you go. As you can see, a big call to action on top of our category page here, which you can link to anything that you want. Basically, you do want your visitors to actually enroll in something, may discover a specific coupon code or something like this. You know, again, you can use all these different elements to increase your sales. Very good. So let's go back back to our Elementor page and create our shop page here. So let's edit some of the elements here. As you can see, we have the filter by the side. So if you click on it, you will see this is absolutely amazing, super easy to use, and yet you can customize everything fully. So by the side of this filter, so you have the search product, you have by categories, by price, by color, by size, by ratings, uh, what's this one here, by sale. Now, how do you customize this? Well, like I said, it's super easy. Just by the side here, click on this button. And as you can see, these are the different filters you can put in place. So let's say if you didn't want to have by sale, all you have to do is just remove it. Now you can add any items you want, obviously. So click on this one here. And then you can enter the title and select which query you want to implement. As you can see by categories, by tag, attribute, rating, price or on sale. So let's reinstate the on sale together here. And as you can see, you can put a title. Is it on sale? Question mark. And there you go. Now we have this back. And again, like we said, you can add as many as you want. So let's create another one here, maybe based on attributes. So if you go to attributes, you can select the color, the size, and you can display them in check boxes, radio boxes, display the actual colors, select buttons maybe, as you can see, if you add buttons, scroll down now, this is what it looks like. As you can see, black, dark blue, green, maroon, or maybe display them as radio buttons. So again, as you can see this, you can select any color that you want and so on and so on. So this is how easily you can change the filter section here by the side. Now, obviously, in the middle of our page, we have to display all the products that are actually matching those queries. And I can click on this. And by the side, as you can see, you have the grid layout. So you can display that differently as well. So let's say if you wanted to display this as a grid layout one, let's click on this together. As you can see, the layout is changed slightly. And then you can customize all the different features from within that element. So as you can see, how many columns do you want to show? So it's set to three at the minute, but maybe you want to display four of them all together. There you go. Perhaps less, maybe just two. There you go. So that's really up to you, obviously, you know. And then you can do the same for the list layout and then action button layout. So this is another one. So at the moment we have preset number five. So that means that if you have on top, the only options available is to slide from one image to the other. But maybe you want to add different set of information like this one here. 
in which case you can have the add to cart, add to favorite, or add to compare. And this one here, you have a big add to cart button right at the bottom. You can select your options and so on and so on. So again, this is really up to you to uh, select the one that you prefer. And then again, you can customize every aspect of every feature. As you can see, the action button position. If you want to add some gap, maybe add a bit of spacing, etc., etc. Okay, so this is basically how you can customize the internals of your page here and then on top of that you also have all your settings so as you can see general visibility do you want to show the product title yes or no do you want to show a short description yes or no do you want to show the product price the product rating product budgets and so on and so on so again as you can see all you have to do is just use a toggle switch and you can customize everything on your section here you can also customize everything related to content ordering product images, action buttons, product title, your badges, variation swatches. I mean, it's infinite here. It's so comprehensive, it's unreal. This is why you can really create a unique experience for your customers that no one else will have, thus increasing your conversion rate. And obviously this wouldn't be an Elementor widget if we didn't have all the styling features. So as well, on top of that, you can customize everything and stylize everything the way you want. So once you're happy enough with the result, all you have to do is click publish. Now let's go back to the shop page and refresh. And there you go, as you can see, now we have a filter section by the side and the content here is displayed exactly the way we customized it. Excellent, so as you can see, our shop page is created and activated as well. So let's create another one together here. So this time I'm going to select the product page and I'm going to show you an amazing feature again here. It's really, really well thought out, you know, just to show you how far you can customize your template using this feature here, using Shop Builder. So right here, as you can see, we said we're going to build a product page for what exactly? For all products, for the product categories, for product tags, or check this one out, selected products. So if I click on this, I can select specific products that I will display differently to the other products. So at the moment, if I go here on my shop page, let's say if I click on this, all the products will display the exact same way. But maybe you have different categories with different types of products and you want to display them differently, you can do that using Shop Builder. This is amazing, guys. Clearly, if you were to sell different types of items, maybe clothing, maybe car parts, etc., they wouldn't have the same type of layout, which is amazing because obviously, you don't sell clothing the same way you sell mechanical items and this is where you can customize this exactly the way you want using the template settings right here and again you can do this by product page or category archive so let's go back to the front end as you can see this is the women's category and this is the shoes category now clearly you might want to make the women's category more appealing because obviously women want to look beautiful so maybe you want to add either different colors or maybe add a special heading here or additional pictures to make it more enticing and more feminine so how can you do so well again let's create one together here okay so i'm going to select the category archive and i'm going to select the women's category this time okay just like this again i'm going to select elementor and set it as active scroll down the page and as you you can see now you can select among all these different ready-made templates so all we need to do now is select one of them so let's go ahead maybe with this one here so import and then edit with elementor excellent and now we can start customizing our page so this is basically the exact same principle i showed you earlier on very easy to do so what we can do maybe is add a bit of more feminine colors in the background you know so if you were to select your main section here perhaps this we go to styling I'm gonna add a background color select a color so let's go maybe with a light pink or something like this you know and then let's add a bit of breathing space all around it we can go to advanced link them and add maybe 20 pixels and then obviously you can add whatever you want you know it could be a heading or anything like this and then you can drag and drop any element here on your page so maybe a heading that would say feeling beautiful today or something like this and once you have enough click publish go back to your section so this is basically what it used to look like so let's refresh and there you go this is what our new women's category looks like which is more feminine and looks more appealing to our target audience but then if you go to our shoe section and refresh, well, it will remain the same. So that doesn't matter for shoes, obviously, as much as women's categories. And obviously, after this, you can go on designing all the different pages, all the different sections of your website using any of those features here. As you can see, you can configure your cart as well, different layouts 
You can do so with your checkout page as well. You could have your thank you page or your account. As you can see, you can start from the dashboard, all the orders, all the downloads, etc., etc., and then login, lost password, and also quick view. So as you can see, this is a very comprehensive solution that will allow you to increase your sales and conversion rate. Okay, so now let's move on to the next amazing feature, which is part of the settings here, and those are the modules. So what is this exactly? Well, this is to jazz up the front end with little tweaks, little additional features that will make, again, your visitors more willing to spend money on your website. So you can enable them all, disable them all, or select them individually. So what do we have here? We have quick view, wish list, product compare, mini cart, variation gallery, variation swatches. Now, if you said clothing, this one might be of interest to you. Product size chart, very important, obviously, when buying clothing. But then if you sell internationally, you have the currency switcher as well. You have product add-ons, flash sale countdown. This is very nice as well to boost sales. So let's enable one of them together as an example, okay? So let's go ahead with maybe this one here, flash sale countdown. Now, if you wanted to make use of this, all you have to do is to enable it, and then you can customize all the settings within this specific module. So first, enable it. Where do you want to show it? In shop page, yes or no. And where do you want to show it, okay? So before the cart, after the cart, use a specific short code or custom position. So again, that's really up to you guys, okay? And then scroll down the page, you have a few different options options as you can see product page settings to want to show this in the product page or not again that's really up to you on or off you know and then you can select the position so let's say maybe before add to cart in this case okay after this you can go to your campaign so this could be for instance black friday or cyber monday or something like this you know or grand reopening or something like this you have a special offer or you can create it here and then you can define a start and end date applicable for all products or maybe specific categories and so on and so on. And then you can also set your style right here. As you can see, a counter color background. And after this, all you have to do is save your changes. Okay, so now let's put this to the test. So we go back here. So this is normally what our page looks like. So let's refresh. And as you can see now, we have a countdown timer right here above the add to cart button. And if we go to our category as well, you will find the same right there. As you can see, this one is on sale for three days, 23 hours, 55 minutes and 36 seconds. Excellent. So obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of them here. We don't have time to demonstrate them all. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Feel free to check them all parcel yourself. But there's one more module I'd like to show you that's going to increase drastically your WooCommerce sales. And this one is called Shopify Checkout. So let's go back to our checkout page. So this is what it used to look like. It's clearly not user friendly enough and you will lose a ton of sales. So for this, you can go back here and enable Shopify Checkout. As you can see, you need to enable it here first, okay? Then you can add your logo here. So let's do that together. Let's upload our logo and let's select this one here as an example, okay? So open, excellent. As you can see, this is uploaded now. You can select your logo height and all these different options. Fill, fill out all your details, obviously, you know. You can enable the multi-step. I would highly recommend you do so because this is what's going to make it so much more easier and less of putting for your visitors. And after this, all you have to do is click Save Changes. And now let's go back to our checkout page and look at this, guys. This makes a lot more sense. We start with the email address, fill out a few details, and then we can move on to the next step. And there you go. This is a more natural process, obviously, and this is going to drastically increase your conversion rate. But again, as you can see, you can choose among 20 different modules that are designed to entice your visitors to buy products on your website. Now, guys, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Please feel free to scroll through all these different modules to see how they can help you get more sales based on the type of products that you are currently selling on your website. Very good. So what's next? Well, if you want to give it a go and try Shop Builder, as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below and you can turn your WooCommerce website into a real selling machine. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.